up everybody it's Reezy here with the Reason Sports Network and today we are breaking down round one of the high school football playoffs. First off we have to start off with the state of Florida. The first game we're covering is Booker T Washington 7 Coco number 14. Now this game was actually live streamed on the channel so you can watch this game right here. Upset though. Booker T Washington over the number 21st ranked team in the nation. Now the second game we're going to have to cover is Miramar the number 6 ranked team in the nation beating Miami Central. 35 to 9. Now, this was also on the channel. I have two videos to this, both of them are Patreon Road to Glory videos. You can see Josh Prince balled out, Bo Carter balled out. Just a pretty much a butt whooping from Miramar to Miami Central. They pretty much had no chance at all to win this football game. But yeah, Miramar over Miami Central, Broward over Dade County. Now, in the third game that we're going to have to break down is Carroll City losing to Miami Northwestern. Miami Northwestern ends up winning this game 28-21. This game was played at Traz Powell Stadium in Miami, Florida. Both teams are historically great Miami teams, but Miami Northwestern is the team that's going to be moving on. Yes, yeah, a lot of subscribers to the channel that played for both of these teams, so it was a lot of talent on this football field. That was a great Moss right there. I'm not even going to lie. It just went over top of his head. As you can see, another subscriber right here to court the touchdown, Scotty Lewis Jr., big time subscriber to the channel. And now, the next game we're going to have to break down is Lakeland getting upset by St. Thomas Aquinas. St. Thomas Aquinas actually won states last year, so if you would have told me this happened at the start of the season, I would be like, man, you know, that's kind of what we expected. But St. Thomas Aquinas went 6-6 six and six throughout the regular season, so... They were expected to lose this game against Lakeland, but they ended up pulling it out. Nice upset right here for St. Thomas Aquinas. A top five team goes down, so another team moves up because of that, and that would be Miramar. Now, since round one is finally over with, we have round two set. You got St. Thomas Aquinas going up against Miami Northwestern. That should be a good game. Uh, I don't know who I'm picking. Up. Man, I got, I got Miami Northwestern in that game. And then we got Booker T. Washington versus Miramar. So you got two Miami teams, Dade County teams, you got two Broward County teams. I got Miramar winning this game at eight. And then I got them winning the state championship. I don't know who they're going to play against, but I got Miramar up against them. The next state that we have to cover is the state of Georgia. We got Lowndes beating McIker. Now, this is from a video that was on this channel. Where we had a 1v1 Amande going up against Jakari Wood. Lowndes ends up winning over McIkern, especially due to this big play right here. You see Jakari Wood, number 12, trying to run down 89, no sir. But yeah, if you do want to watch this video, then make sure you click on the link. I'm going to have it at the top somewhere. It may be the right or the left, probably the right. But yeah, Lowndes beats McIkern, 35-19. to And then the next game we have in the state of Georgia, the only other round one game is Norcross losing to Roswell. 17 to 14. Now, I expected Norcross to win this game. They were heavily favored in this matchup, even though that this was at Roswell's home stadium. Roswell had the home field advantage, but I thought Norcross was the better team. I thought they were better along the lines of scrimmage. Even though that might be the case, they still weren't able just to get the job done. So they ended up losing. Roswell ends up moving on, and Norcross, they got to go home. State of Georgia, got a lot of talent. Had some subscribers actually ball out in this game on both teams, actually, to be honest with you. But yeah, y'all see Norcross ends up winning. Now let's take a look at the bracket. Since only six teams make the playoffs in the state of Georgia, it was only two first round games. So we got Grayson versus Roswell and Marietta versus Lyme. And y'all already know who I got. I got Grayson and Marietta in the state championship. That's who I got going up against each other. And I think both of those teams are top 25 caliber teams. Now, the next state that we have is the state of Ohio. Wayne versus Archbishop Hoban. Wayne is from Huber Heights, Ohio. Hoban is from Akron, Ohio. And as we expected, we thought Hoban would win this football game, but we did not know that they would spank Wayne like this all up and down the football field. Beat him like a drum. Beat him 38-13. to Had full control of this game from start to finish, so... Wayne is going home. Hoban is moving on. Hoban, a lot of great players on their team. Hopefully, they can get a chance at winning the state championship. The next game we have to break down is St. Ignatius spanking Pickerington Central. Now, Pickerington Central was favored to win this game. They were at home. It was in the snow. 
Very tough conditions to play in, but St. Ignatius showed everyone why they're one of the best teams in the state of Ohio, historically. Right here, we got Frank Palmer, a subscriber to the channel, getting a sack in this game, though. Pretty impressive. But, yeah, as we can see, St. Ignatius spanks him, beats him by 30, had full control of this game. Pickerington Central couldn't do anything, really, at all. It's crazy to see a team like Pickerington Central that was actually ranked early in the season just get whooped in the first round like this. As y'all can see, the first round in the state of Ohio is over, so the second round is coming up soon. St. Ignatius and Hoban move on. St. Ignatius has to go up against St. Ed's. St. Ed's has a lot of talent on their football team. They got a Patreon member, Rezion Jameson, one of the best players in the nation. And then you got Hoban going up against St. Xavier. St. Xavier has an elite quarterback, a lot of subscribers on the team. Hey, it's going to be a movie. Semifinals for Ohio is getting set. Whoever win these games advances on to the state title game. The next state that we have to talk about is the great state of Texas. The first game we got Capel going up against Cade. Now, we expected this. You know, they were the favorite. You know, they're the number 13th ranked team in the nation. So they ended up beating Cade 34 to 14. But like Cady, I got way more talent than to just get whooped like this in the first round. I expected a much more competitive football game. Cady. Only put up 14 points, lost by three scores. Pretty embarrassing. Hey, they got to go back to Houston sick right now. Yeah, Katie took that L to Capel, man. It's a shame. Man, what happened to Katie, bro? Now, next game, we're going to have to break down this Duncanville. You see Marius Friday right here, subscriber to the channel. 475 and six touchdowns. Duncanville with the upset of the day. You know, there's a lot of other upsets. You know, the number five team in the nation lost. Uh, number 21 team now, There's a lot of teams that lost To unranked teams But nothing like this You have an unranked team come into your own building And absolutely blow you off the field Like are we serious 57 to 14 That's 43 points Like you lost by 43 points In the first round of the playoffs On your home field And you ranked number 12 in the nation to a team that had a losing record, Duncanville. Like, bro, that's crazy to me. You see Amari V. Long right here. But, yeah, next game we're going to have to break down is North Shore and Trinity. Now, North Shore ends up winning 13-10, but they did take an L, though. The best player on their team, number three, Jay Lee Hart, a Patreon member. He's a cornerback and a wide receiver. Ended up actually getting hurt in this ball game, man. I feel so bad for Jay Lee Hart. You see him right here making plays in this game. Feel so bad for him. He's probably going to be out for the season. Man, North Shore was definitely not favored to win this game. They won't be favored to win the next game with their best player being injured. Now, the last game in the state of Texas, the Soto versus Cedar Hill. Now, the Soto wanted this game so bad. They've been waiting for this game all season long. The Soto was one of the best teams in the nation all last year. One of the best wide receiver cores in the nation last year, like they'd have this year. But they lost to Cedar Hill in the state championship game last year. So they wanted to bounce back and beat them because Cedar Hill ended up beating them and then going on to the national championship. They lost, but they still got to the natty. DeSoto really wanted this game back, so they put it on them, spanked them, 48 to 14. You see the Adams brothers, you see, it was so much talent on this field, bunch of fireworks. You see my man LD Adams right here making big time plays. Now, the first round of the Texas State playoffs is over with four different games, and you have four more teams emerge. So we got DeSoto and Capel, number eight versus number 13. I cannot wait for that game. Then we got Duncanville and North Shore. Duncanville, who was in a terrible position, they had a losing record before this game. They're going up against North Shore without their best player. My money's on Duncanville. I got Duncanville versus DeSoto in the state title game. And then I got DeSoto winning because DeSoto just got the talent. They got the talent all over the football field. I think DeSoto is favored to win this game and the next game. So, hey, we'll find out. Last but not least, the last conference that we have to talk about is the WCAC, which is the Washington Catholic Athletic Conference. Pretty much the best conference in the D.C. area. Got St. John's and Gonzaga, two Washington, D.C. teams. Both teams have been featured on the channel before. Gonzaga ends up beating St. John's 
41 to 27. And since the WCAC is only four different teams, Gonzaga is moving on to the WCAC championship. Now, the last game that we have to cover is the math and good counsel. Now, if you're a subscriber to the channel and you watch enough of my videos, then you've probably seen this video already. Cato Hendricks and Damatha beating Good Counsel 42-17. Damatha is the number fourth ranked team in the nation, one of the most talented teams in the nation. Absolutely score drug Good Counsel all over the football field. Cato Hendricks showed off how much of a great athlete he was this entire game. Pretty much was a dominant effort by Damatha over Good Counsel. So we got Damatha and Gonzaga in the WCAC championship game. We can see the brackets right here. Damatha spanked Good Counsel. Gonzaga beat St. John's, so we got DeMatha versus Gonzaga. Last year in the WCAC title game, we had DeMatha in good counsel. DeMatha ends up spanking him in that game, and guess what? I got DeMatha spanking Gonzaga once again in the WCAC title game. Now, it's Reezy here with the Reason Sports Network. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you click on the post notification bell, too. You can be a character in the Reason Sports Network universe. We make content for high school, college, and the pros. You can submit a form. The link will be in the description. However, if you sign up with Patreon, you'll have a lot more customization and control over your character. The link will be in the description. If you want to see this 6'10 athletic freak absolutely dominate in his round one playoff game, then click this video right here. Or you can see every single high school football recap highlight video if you click on the playlist above.